welcome to another episode of Career Australia Season 2 where we talk to industry experts and professionals from various backgrounds um, to get their insights because here we are on a mission to decode and understand the current happenings in the market with regards to opportunities for students and job seekers alike. On today's episode, we have Mr. Vijo Kunamvirtha, Managing Director and Founder of the HCI Group. I would also like to introduce him as our very own considering that he has given his time to walk into the studio for us especially for another episode so thank you so much again i reiterate time is so valuable time is money you give us your time thank you so much sir right how have you been yeah going good that's great (laughs) that's so good to know um always a pleasure having you always a pleasure talking to you regarding nursing (laughs) um being the master of nursing that you are sir thank you Mm. Well, um, I was just reading uh, through some uh, studies uh, and that said that it's only during the two years of the pandemic that the world or each one of us has realized how significant nursing as a department in the healthcare system is and in our case, nurses, right? Um, They've always been there. They've always been on the front line. However, it is only during this COVID-19 and this um, two, three years that we've realized that how much significance they hold, considering that they have been during vaccinating, during treating the disease, uh, during isolating um, absolutely every aspect of COVID-19. Tell me, sir, what is the current stand of this whole department of nursing in a country like Australia? Rather, what is the stand of nurses in the country? So I just want to uh, bring your uh, attention. A lot of things change during COVID. Right. Only the perception change. Things doesn't change. It was always there. But the recognition or appreciation was different before yeah. COVID and now. Totally. So, if you look at uh, online learning, mm. uh, in the before the COVID, people won't really give that kind of recognition to online education mm. because many country in the world doesn't recognize it as a, a equal qualification as a on campus study. So, but during COVID, it changed. <laughs> now everybody has to study online, including kindergarten all the way totally. with the PhD. They are all studying online, and that gives a lot of benefits to people. Mm. And I strongly believe the opportunity for people to learn or upgrade their qualifications in the future will be much better with the flexibility of education now. The same thing goes to nursing. Nursing was always the same, uh, you know, frontline workers and they were actually doing the hard job. But their recognition was less in some countries. Totally. But countries like Australia always recognize nurses. Okay. Nursing was always the top profession highly respected profession mm. in Australia okay. before COVID and even now. Oh, yeah. So, but countries like, you know, our place like India and all, we don't get that kind of recognition, same like in Australia mm. before COVID. But I think things may be changing now. Okay. People got a lot of awareness mm. and the benefits and need of nurses. Mm. So I hope that nurses recognition globally will may increase by COVID. Yeah, it has definitely increased. And I hope that the government will do enough to support them to grow Mm. in education, in learning, building their knowledge and their perks and benefits as well, so that the public get better care and uh, support from when they are ill. Definitely. So that's my wish for nurses. Definitely, definitely. And the stand is also very strong in a country like Australia, right? Yes. So, like you said, we can wish and hope that, you know, globally they are recognized to a level wherein every everything is easier for them in that sense, yes. correct? Right. Um, so, I was, I was reading another study that said a curriculum named Master of Nursing, wherein experienced nurses from overseas can take advantage of this whole course. Um, what is what is Master of Nursing looking like for them? Okay. First of all, I disagree with uh, Professor the Duffield. perception of only experienced nurses can perform the level of expectation. Definitely. Because uh, unless we give opportunity for experience, nobody could get to experience person tomorrow. Totally. <laughs> so I think the industry should welcome fresh sure. graduates sure. and uh, they they come with skills which maybe experienced nurses doesn't have. 
Yeah. The skills I mean about technological ad- advancement. Definitely. You, you know, you can't do a lot of things as you were doing in the past. Yeah. You need to really look at ways to improve, enhance your uh, way of uh, doing things. Definitely. And uh, maybe have new ideas. Yeah. And IHM, when we designed the Master of Nursing course, the curriculum, mm-hmm. what we done is we thought nurses are more than what nurses are seen to be. Yeah. For example, like nurses could be an entrepreneur. Definitely. They could be creating new products and services into to the industry. Definitely. They could be innovating new ideas in terms of uh, uh, su- uh, supporting nursing workforce to right. you know, do a lot of process automation. Right. So these are all required a place where they could uh, try it or you know, study about it and they can be uh, maturing their idea. Definitely. So it's a project. Yeah. There should be a place where you can do such projects. Totally. So IHM's master is the last semester is a project. So okay. we don't expect everybody to do project. There's a coursework option, mm. but project is another option we built into the course. Okay. So my idea is basically our nurses are great. Definitely. Australian nurses and I believe overseas nurses are same or equal. Yeah. Everybody can grow in their career, provide the opportunity. So do you able to provide the opportunity to nurses any wherever they're working today because uh, you may be working in one hospital today and move to another hospital in the same country totally of course you need to learn about different practices yeah different uh, procedures yeah different processes equipments everything is different in every hospital so learning is part of life for nurses always it never ends yeah but i also think that uh, by having a project in innovation so i'm expecting our college will graduate people with more innovation yeah so not just nurses innovative nurses innovative. and they will come with solutions for the nursing industry in order to make things more easy for them so the nursing shortage globally not going to change it's yeah. everywhere everywhere including india we have nursing shortage totally whereas uh, australia and other countries is less compared to the the population, population. ratio so nursing shortage is not going to reduce mm-hmm. but i think if we become innovative and reduce some of the tasks for them so they could do better job yeah and educate them with better knowledge definitely so the masters program is again structured in such a way it will definitely build a lot of nursing leaders Sweet. so we added uh, leadership units into it wow uh, clinical teaching units into it cool and uh, nursing education nursing leadership and uh, project mm-hmm. innovation everything is covered into it okay so our course is very much built in that aspect very nice sounds so interesting um can you help us how holistic this program is considering that you you did mention about the leadership units you did mention about the creative project unit uh, the innovation that they need to bring in C- could you just you know throw in some light into the specifications of this this um, whole masters program from ihm IHM Masters, the first semester is basically built in for international nurses. Okay. So, why knowing that international nurses need to go through this OSCE exam or OBA training right. exam in order to pass. So, we actually providing, uh, additionally to the first semester, we also offering NGLEX training, yeah. which is mandatory for anybody from overseas to register. Right. Then our course, we have added clinical placement. Okay. Clinical placement is not in most of the university programs in masters. Okay. Because unless it is leading to registration masters, they don't add clinical placement. Clinical placement. Or okay. work placement in the industry to practice. Okay. So we added it because people need to get OSCE training and the work experience in order to get the OSCE to pass with the right. APRA right. and MBA registration requirements. So our course, the first semester is specifically built in for that purpose. Mm. And on top of that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, there is a lot of uh, variations, but the be, beyond that, we also put the entry criteria for nurses with 6.5 overall right. ILTS requirement. Right. Most of the universities, seven requirements are there. Right. And I believe uh, this will help attracting more nurses to enter into the workforce in Australia. Definitely. So then we need to support them and you know, support them with the language training and all. So we built in all the support system 
with uh, people giving more opportunity same time supporting them to achieve the final out- outcome same or better than any other programs comparative so this is what we done in the masters program great 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 sounds so good that you know we have innovation we have creative units we have leadership units and then communication units as well if i'm not yeah. wrong right that that sounds so holistic and wholesome thank you so much for building this program for so many out there wanting to migrate to australia wanting to serve the society thanks again for doing this um for the society in a way thanks a lot So I'm going to use my phone for this considering that these are really specific terms and I really don't want to mess it up. So to work in Australia one must be registered by the Australian Nursing and Midwifery Board that's yeah. NMBA if I'm not wrong yeah. which is also partnered with the Australian Health Practitioners Registration Agency AFRA which we spoke yeah. about. Um and is also responsible for the registration of registered and enrolled nurses and midwives. Yeah. Now with this can you help me with the advantages that a nurse or like a student graduating with a masters in nursing from IHM like what are the advantages what are the highlights that you know you can um tell to someone considering that it's a masters program and one having a certain set of skills in nursing or a degree uh, in nursing from an overseas university um wanting to migrate to australia you know what are the highlights that we need to look into when it when we talk about the masters program okay, okay. we when we, whenever we develop a course mm. we consider various factors in terms of uh, considering uh, basically different stream of of students so example like overseas nurses there's majority there's quite a lot of people are GNM nurses okay they are registered nurses with mm-hmm. the GNM qualification general nursing and midwifery right so basically they get less opportunities today in the world okay so most of the countries they looking for master uh, the bachelor's degree or higher mm. so we actually consider this aspect and we actually offering somebody with 3 year experience okay. they could enroll in your course Okay with so the, G- they GNM need... with 3 year experience we and admission to your course great um Now like I'm very curious to know how is the masters program different to the GNM program like what is the difference in no, that's an entry course like they okay. sh- they can have a bachelor of nursing or general nursing and midwifery course or GNM okay but GNM normally they can't get into another university masters program all right so but IHM course we have a given that option with oh, three year experience so GNM so good so it's a it's a diploma level qualification but okay. registered nurses Right. So that's the option we provided. So we actually uh, accepting you know bigger pool of nurses who wish to upskill themselves. Right. And we also have an option for IELTS 6 and above to join our course totally. with the support services or ongoing training and support for English. And we are, we we really also consider that you know uh, in terms of international nurses the fees is very important component. So our fees compared to any master's program that was my next question <laughs> which is uh, leading the registration yeah their fees is uh, and our college fees is comparatively it's around two third so we given much uh, reduce in that aspect yeah so our goal is to provide accessibility for more nurses to take up the program great and then this program comes with uh, st- government uh, uh, support in that aspect like three years stay back and spouse can work full yeah. time and uh, i mean they can actually if their family they can come with the family to study and they can work also other person right. so these are the big benefit in australia yeah and uh, australia currently have a lot of job opportunities in totally. every profession totally. so i'm hoping that uh, that will benefit the currently whoever wish to come and study in australia great great with ihm yes. uh, the masters program right um great sir so uh, the highlights are pretty you know they they look so good um considering that nursing is so much in demand what do you think like what do you want to tell people who want to migrate to australia in order to do a masters in nursing from ihm what do you want to let them know and what do you think that they must consider uh while migrating to australia in order to study masters okay the the main challenge people from overseas face is basically the funding requirements for right. a two year program right 
So considering that we have a pathway option. Okay. Our graduate certificate program which is GCA in GCAN. Yeah. That course they can study. They can come for the six months course with the okay. uh, less funding requirements. Right. Once they are here, they could start working and they can earn some money. And then uh, once they are here, they can continue to the master's program. Okay. So bigger challenge is the funding requirement if they want to come for a two-year course. Right. So they could avoid that. Yeah. So, I mean, if they have a constraint, financial constraint, there is an option for articulation through GCN program. Okay. So this is something which I think uh, make them possible. Then they may have a difficulty thinking whether I will be able to meet the requirements of a master's program because right. am I capable or not? The eligibility criteria. Not eligibility, they thought even if I get admission, mm. do I am able to do it? Okay. Is that Australian course is so difficult or I, I may fail? So I don't want to you know, prove to be wrong. So people are a bit scared in some time to, to take a risk because it's costly. Then if I fail, what is going to be? Because the family will be in uh, you know, challenging. So, what we do is basically we understand the students mm -hmm. so we also offer a pathway program which prepare them to be successfully getting into the course rather so, being more confident yeah so if they yeah. are not working studied for the last five years or more in the recent they will be always challenged you know totally. whether i have the capability to go back to study yeah. i'm working as an s very well but i don't know whether i can study so we have prepared them. So before they joining the master, they could do this course with us. Mm. So they can ensure that if they are able to do it or not. And I believe 99% they can do. It's only, you know, if there is a will, there is a way. Definitely. So we want people to think that I can do and we'll make it happen for them. Yeah. They just have the confidence. Whatever they think, whatever their challenge, they should be open to discuss with us. Definitely. And we will make sure that they will pass through that. Even we have scholarship option for some of these uh, programs. Yeah, I was so, coming to that next. So that is also option there. Okay. And uh, I strongly believe uh, another challenge for international nurses is basically their visa processing. Right. So we do have a division which actually look after the visa processing requirements okay. in Australia. Ooh. After they come, they want to continue with the college. Right. The visa processing is done internally. Okay. So okay. they don't have to go to another organization to get Sweet. it done for them. Yeah. So we look after our students from beginning to end. That's so, so good. Because this college is built on the uh, international nurses uh, program from 2004 onwards. So we know each and every needs of every student. So our staff is fully prepared to support them. Again, into the classroom. Whereas uh, uh, some organizations, they get into 150 to 300 students in a lecture room to learn right so our course is fully with a small group of students with maximum 30 students in a classroom okay and uh, our teachers definitely give a lot more you know in one-on-one -on -one support services yeah and understanding so basically small cohort yeah and um, personalized support services yeah and our campuses are I, I can say <laughs> we have invested into beautiful simulation facilities yeah including virtual simulation we have wow. so all this is preparing them to definitely succeed in their life Great. so they need to tell what is their purpose yeah of studying uh, uh, any program with us yeah. the students yeah. and we will make sure that they get there right so that is our commitment for right the students. definitely yeah, that's what we definitely do. yes yes cool uh, no so while you were speaking about the campus just makes me want to come and actually you know see how the campus looks and what are the facilities that the nurses or the students with a master's in nursing from ihm get mm -hmm. right and uh, the second thing i wanted to ask you um is sir uh, you mentioned about how uh, supportive the staff is yeah. at IHM. Um, now, is there a pool of mentors um, for mentoring um, these students who, are, who, you know, migrate from another country who are taking up this course? Is there a pool of mentor? Yeah, we, we don't have official arrangement in okay. that aspect. Okay. But we do have uh, alumni students in touch with the okay. current students. Great. So we're doing a lot of initiative right. in order to make uh, their life more easy. Easier. So every year we bring new projects yeah. which uh, actually support them. So Great. last last year we implemented one system called it's a rob robotic process automation. It's called Rishi. Rishi. So in our IHM wow. website you can see Rishi. In our students' uh, 
LMS they can see Rishi. Okay. So Rishi is basically go with individual students. Okay. So whenever they're studying in the night, they have a question they can ask the Rishi. Most of the questions are answered. Great. Because the uh, all the database is there, and on top of that, if they want to contact a uh, support staff anytime, 24 by 7. Yeah. Then somebody will come online to support them. Great. So whatever night or day, because digital learning or online learning is the way to go yeah but in that aspect you need a lot of support service for students totally and uh, technology is not everybody's cake so definitely we need to cohort uh, look after every student yeah and every student need so the college is actually looking into the possibility and ways and means of supporting students mm. in way, many ways not many only ways. one way so we continue to provide that service to students. That's so yeah. good. From innovation to leadership to communication units to a pool of mentors that's still not official. However, there is Rishi for you. It's a robotic simulation. It's isn't a robotic it? process automation. So okay. It's a, it's a robot robotic way. process of automation. automation. Okay, robotic Rishi. Process. Now, yeah. Rishi, I'm going to actually go and check who this Rishi is and how yeah. am I going to, you know, help my friends back home wanting to, you know, uh, study nursing or do a master's in nursing from IHM. Go and check Rishi, guys. I'm really excited to see who this Rishi is. Um, also, um, so now throwing more light into the fee structure of this whole master i'm sure people are gonna get uh, all the information from uh, the website of uh, ihna ihm however if you could help me with um, how the fee structure looks like and what is like the difference now you mentioned about how it's you know two-third is the difference however yeah. basically yeah IHM's fees is around twelve thousand dollar per semester. Okay. For our master's program. Yeah. Whereas uh, other competitors, you know, those leading the session courses, they normally charge up to seventeen to twenty thousand dollar per semester. That's a big difference. <laughs> That's a lot of difference. And in terms of uh, robotics, you know, basically we do have a separate uh, research project. Yeah. We are doing a robotics in elderly care or uh, nursing home uh, care. Okay. That's a project we're currently working and that's I'm talking about real robots we're developing okay. and uh, yeah. nurses who are interested in robotics or you know elderly care or those area or process automation of course uh, I think IHM will be one of the best course college Definitely. they could choose to be part of uh, this evolution in uh, e-nursing or nursing robotics and Definitely. process automation yeah. so that's all happening great great yeah. great I think um, Yet another time, so much thought you have put in uh, developing this whole curriculum to make it as wholesome and as hassle-free as possible, considering that you were talking about how you have an internal visa department helping these students yeah. um, so that they do not have to go through another agent outside or a department outside, making it all the more easier for people migrating to the country. Thank you so much for Thank again you. doing this. I think from innovation to leadership to communication, um, Masters of Nursing at IHM is a very, very holistic program that we really need to um, focus upon considering people who want to migrate to Australia, who want to serve the society, who want to serve humanity. This is the way to go. <laughs> um, so thank you so much mm -hmm. again. It has been uh, an absolute pleasure talking to you regarding Masters. I'm sure so many of them have gotten what they really need from this episode. Thank you so much again. Uh, so absolute much. pleasure, sir. And would you want to say something uh, to people wanting to migrate to Australia to do Masters in Nursing from IHM? No, I mean, we always uh, there for nurses and uh, as long as they contact us and tell their needs, we can work around the, whatever the circumstances. We, we are always there for nursing profession to enhance their uh, career. So if any nurse uh, really want to know more about uh, what we do for them and uh, we are always open for discussion and uh, they can just contact us through our website or you know directly me my details are also in website. So I'm happy to provide uh, whatever we could uh, support them. Thank you. So interesting sir considering that this whole course looks so holistic that we have innovation units, we have leadership units, we have communication units and then we have this robo named Rishi helping uh, our students all the time 24 7 and then we have a unofficial set of mentors helping students considering that not everyone will be uh, tech savvy. Thank you so much for building this whole course and um, 
putting in units that that just makes it all the more attractive and enhanced mm -hmm.